Hey everyone, Jamie Oliver here. Today we're diving into the vibrant world of Malaysian cuisine to tackle a street food favourite, murtabak. Malaysian food is a beautiful mix of flavours. It's a bit spicy, a bit sweet and totally delicious. Murtabak is like a crispy, savoury pancake. Imagine a thin dough stuffed with flavourful meat and spices. Then it's cooked to golden perfection on a hot griddle. Trust me, your taste buds will thank you. In Malaysia, you'll find murtabak sizzling away at street stalls, filling the air with an irresistible aroma. It's the kind of food that makes you want to stop and grab a bite or two. Now let's get cooking. Before we start cooking, let's gather our ingredients. Don't worry, they're easy to find. For the dough, two cups plain flour, one teaspoon salt, one tablespoon oil, and three quarters cup water. For the filling, one onion, finely chopped, two cloves garlic minced, one inch ginger minced, one pound ground beef or chicken, one teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, salt and pepper to taste, and oil for cooking. For the dipping sauce, half a cup water, quarter cup vinegar, quarter cup sugar, and one tablespoon chili sauce, optional. See, nothing too fancy. Now let's move on to the fun part, making the dough. The dough is the heart of a good murtabak. It needs to be soft, pliable, and able to stretch thin. Don't worry, we'll take it slow. First, in a large bowl, mix the flour and salt. Make a well in the center. Next, add the oil and water to the well. Slowly mix everything together. Then knead the dough for about five to seven minutes. It should be smooth and elastic. Cover the dough with a damp cloth. Let it rest for at least 30 minutes. This will give the gluten time to relax, making the dough easier to work with. While the dough is resting, we can prepare our delicious filling. Section four, creating the flavorful murtabak filling. The filling is where we get to play with those amazing Malaysian flavors. This is the heart of the murtabak, where all the magic happens. First, heat some oil in a pan until it shimmers. Then, add the chopped onions and cook until they become soft and translucent. Next, add the minced garlic and ginger, which will add a wonderful aroma. Cook for a minute until fragrant, stirring occasionally to prevent burning. Now, add the ground meat of your choice. You can use beef, chicken, or even lamb. Cook until browned, breaking it up with a spoon to ensure even cooking. Now, for the spices, add the turmeric, cumin, and coriander powder. Stir well to coat the meat evenly with these spices. Season with salt and pepper to your liking. Taste and adjust as needed. You can adjust the spices too, depending on how much kick you want. Feel free to add chili powder for extra heat. Once the meat is cooked and the spices are fragrant, take the pan off the heat. The aroma should be irresistible by now. Let the filling cool while we get back to the dough. This cooling step is crucial for easy handling later. Section five, cooking the murtabak to crispy perfection. Now comes the exciting part, cooking the murtabak. This is where the magic happens, transforming simple ingredients into a mouth-watering dish. First, divide the dough into equal-sized balls. This ensures that each murtabak cooks evenly and has the perfect texture. Roll each ball into a thin circle, the thinner, the better. This helps achieve that crispy, flaky texture we all love. Heat a large griddle or frying pan over medium heat. Add a little oil to prevent sticking and to help with the crispiness. Carefully place one dough circle on the hot griddle. Listen to the sizzle as it hits the pan. Cook for a minute or two until it starts to bubble up. These bubbles indicate that the dough is cooking perfectly. Add a generous spoonful of the meat filling onto half of the dough circle. Be sure to spread it evenly. Fold the other half over the filling to make a semicircle. This seals in all the delicious flavors. Press down gently on the edges to seal the murtabak. This step is crucial to keep the filling inside while cooking. Cook for another two to three minutes per side until golden brown and crispy. Flip carefully to avoid breaking the murtabak. Repeat with the remaining dough and filling. Each murtabak will be a little piece of perfection. Before you know it, you'll have a stack of delicious murtabak ready to be enjoyed by everyone. Section six serving and enjoying your homemade murtabak. This is the moment you've been waiting for. Your kitchen must be smelling amazing by now. The rich aroma of spices and freshly cooked murtabak is simply irresistible. Time to eat. Cut the murtabak into wedges. Make sure each piece is a perfect bite-sized delight. Serve it hot with the dipping sauce. The warmth of the murtabak enhances its flavors. 
The sweet, tangy and slightly spicy sauce is the perfect contrast to the savoury murtabak. It elevates the dish to a whole new level. Murtabak is a social food. It's meant to be enjoyed with others. In Malaysia, it's often shared with friends and family. The joy of eating together makes the experience even more special. So gather your loved ones, grab a piece of murtabak, and enjoy the explosion of flavors. Each bite is a burst of deliciousness. Remember, cooking is all about having fun and experimenting. Don't be afraid to try new things. Feel free to add your own twist to the recipe. Make it uniquely yours. You can try different fillings like cheese, vegetables, or even sweet fillings. The possibilities are endless. Let your creativity shine. So what are you waiting for? The kitchen is calling. Get those aprons on and start cooking up a storm. Happy cooking. Enjoy every moment of this culinary adventure.